Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lungi Letabete, or you can just call me Lungi. Today's makeup look is for Valentine's Day, since we are in the month of love. It is a step-by-step -step video of how you can achieve this look from skin to eyes. And yeah, the whole shebang, ready for date night. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start with my skin makeup today and then I'll end off with my eyes. Um, I haven't been using foundation for a very long time. I think if you follow me on social media or follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've mentioned this a couple of times. So I'm going to show you guys how I contour my face um, so that it looks like a full like coverage look without foundation, without the added you know weight of foundation especially because it's still hot so. so i'm gonna start off by contouring my face and i am using the revlon what is this this is the revlon color stay um life proof foundation stick i'm specifically the shade cappuccino i just like the undertone of cappuccino so i start by like placing it like so just under my cheekbone around my forehead and I also place it by my nose at the bottom there under my lip so that my bottom lip looks fuller and just by my jawline right so then I'm gonna start blending off this um, look and I like blending my co uh, contour with a uh, brush make sure that I use the brush and I blend into um, just the beginning of my hairline and I'm blending using a tapping motion so I'm tapping the product into the skin as you can see when I blend the contour especially on my cheek I blend it and I pull it towards the lip and that's basically where it stops so i don't want to pull the makeup too far down my neck especially if you're going to be wearing um clothing that comes up to your neck or even a blazer you don't want it rubbing um on your clothing too much so i'm just going to stop it um just where my neck begins and yeah then to blend out the nose contour so with blending out your makeup um the only way that you can make it like really seamless is by making sure that you hydrate your brushes so i use the nivea rose care um, face mist it's a hydrating face mist and i just spritz it on my brushes you can rub it on a towel and then start blending it just helps you blend the product out um, easier so as i was blending the nose contour i just made sure that i pull it all the way to just under my brow again in the long run it's just gonna make it look a little more um blended and more seamless all right so once we've done the darker shade then i'm gonna move on to the lighter shade so i always go with a shade that's my exact skin tone in this regard and i've just emptied out my concealers but I am using um, the Allegheal Pro Concealers in the shades Fawn and um, the Yellow Color Corrector. So I'm just blending out, I'm put, placing my Skin Tone Concealer, um, the rest of my face. So first on my jawline, then my chin. Just above the darker shade that I placed. On my forehead and a little bit on my nose don't put too much of the your color concealer on your nose because you're still gonna put a lighter shade on top of that so I also like placing this shade of concealer around my mouth because I do have pigmentation around um, my mouth area all right so then I'm gonna use a beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that up So as you 
blend the side of your jaw you want to make sure that you blend it up towards the darker shade that you had placed previously and the bit that's above the jaw you want to make sure that you blend it downwards towards the darker shade just to soften it up so with the forehead area you blend the concealer that's your skin tone uh, with the beauty blender but then you take the brush that you had used to blend out the darker shade and you blend those two together where they meet all right so i'm gonna go back into the concealer and i just want to cover up the spots that haven't been covered so my pigmentation which is mostly on the side of my cheeks All right, so once I'm done with uh, blending in the concealer that's my skin tone, I'm then going to go in with a lighter shade concealer. This is the yellow color corrector. It is um, the Allegro Pro Concealer, the yellow color corrector specifically. And I'm just going to place that under my eyes, um, a slight amount on my forehead, on my chin as well. But I'm going to demonstrate that for you guys. So on my forehead just a little bit to bring to focus the light in the center of my face and I'm applying the concealer under my eyes in like a triangular shape so the entire reason why you apply it in a triangular form is because you want to maintain the chisel of your cheekbone but you also want to lift your eyes up which is why you bring the concealer a little bit higher um, on the side of your eyes and you maintain that even when you're blending so i use um three different items to blend a big um, beauty sponge and a smaller one that's for like the more precise areas i also use the um real techniques brush this is number 402 um i get it at discam and clicks if i'm not mistaken um this is a setting brush but i really like it for blending concealer as well so then i use the smaller uh, beauty blender just to blend the areas where i want the concealer to stay um exactly as i've placed it which is my cupid's bow and my nose as well as the inner corner of my eye all right so i'm happy with that then i'm gonna use um my brush and i'm just gonna start blending the concealer under my eyes from the outer parts and as you can tell when i blend it by the eye i make sure that i carry it over so that my eye still looks like lifted so i'm really happy with the way that uh, the blend is going so far i'm just gonna go in with the smaller uh, beauty blender once again and I'm going to blend in the in inner corner of the eye. So as you can tell, as much as I'm blending the inner corner of the eye, I'm still carrying the product over um, and lifting the eye. And then we're going to go back to the shade of the concealer that's your skin tone. And we're going to place that on your eyelid. I added a bit of yellow as well and I'm going to use my 402 Real Techniques brush and just blend that in. Alright so now that you've put coverage on your entire face including your eyelids now it's time to brighten up your under eyes and I like using two concealers for this. Um, first is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealers. This is the shade True Beige and then I like using the Benefit um, Cakeless Concealer. This is the shade number six. So these two shades are what I use for brightening up my under eyes. Um, st first, I start off with the NYX concealer, and it just gives a really beautiful yellow color, but it dries up really fast. So as soon as you apply it, you need to be blending it in, and I like blending these in at the same time 
or if you don't do that one side ends up like being perfectly blended while the other side is like difficult to blend because it's dried down so as you can see while you're blending your concealer your nose contour is being compromised so i blend my nose contour as well so the brush that i used for my nose contour is the one that i then go back in with back and forth just to make sure that it remains there okay so then i'm gonna go in my with my benefit um concealer and this is super bright um so just like a dot of this in the inner corner of your eye i also like doing a very small amount on my forehead and my chin but this also dries down quite fast so first i start off by blending the chin and forehead and then i go in with the beauty blender once more and i blend in the inner corner of the eye so if you're using a different type of concealer you want to make sure that it is a little bit tacky before you start dry, uh, blending it in because that just helps you get better coverage and more out of the concealer all right so now that i'm happy with the um brightness of my under eye i'm gonna go in with the benefits cakeless concealer once again but this is number 11 and i just want to intensify my contour so i just place that under my cheekbone a very small amount and on um, my forehead as well and i just blend this in really quickly as you can tell it just helps you like intensify your concealer a little bit okay cool so now i'm gonna be uh baking my face i don't really bake but i set my concealer that's what i like prefer to call it because i don't put the um powder on for too long you don't want that cakey effect so today i'm using the huda beauty um what is this called again this is called the um this is the huda beauty um easy bake loose baking and setting powder what a mouthful it is in the shade pound cake if not for this um concealer i also like using the laura mercier translucent powder so i just make sure that nothing has creased i blend it in with my beauty blender and then i dip my beauty blender into my concealer i mean my setting powder make sure there's not too much product on your uh, sponge and then i press that into the skin so you want to press it and blend it as you're pressing it i'm also carrying it over onto my nose so there isn't like a defined line as to where the powder started and ended okay so then i do the other side of the face first you start by blending in your concealer to make sure nothing has set and once you've done that then you go in with your translucent powder again make sure there's not too much on the sponge and then you place it on and blend it in like literally tap it into the skin all right so now that our under eyes are set i'm going to be setting the rest of my face so i'm going to use my bigger beauty blender and I just want to blend the concealer again in the rest of the face to make sure nothing has like creased with my frowning. And then I place a little bit of um, setting powder on the sponge. And I just lightly tap the rest of the face. I also like placing um, setting powder over my eyebrows because they do get quite um, glossy when I don't but because you're using such little con uh, setting powder uh, it's not gonna look and feel heavy okay so the last place to set is my eyelids I'm gonna go in with my 402 Real Techniques brush once again and I just want to blend out the concealer that's on my eyelids first Right, once I've done that, before I do too much, I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder on the brush and then set that part of the face as well. Okay, so halfway done with the skin makeup. Now I am going to then go move on to the face 
powder. Now I like using it, I've been using this for a long time. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I am the shade NC45. As you can see, I've already like reached pan. I'm gonna use a good fluffy brush, a nice thick condensed fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna swipe it on the uh, powder. I'm gonna place the powder on the entire face, just lightly everywhere. This is a step that you can do without. I just like placing it because like, I like extra, extra coverage. And you're done. It's not too much powder. You don't wanna like make your face too powdery. Does that make sense? <laughs> So then I'm going to intensify my contour using the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronzer. This is in the shade Tan. I really like these because like you get a lighter version and a darker version of the same shade, which is great. So I'm just going to use a fluffy brush, dip it into the lighter version, and I build up the contour a little bit more. I also like placing the contour under my cheekbone, well, under my jawline. And then I'm going to take a um, dome shade uh, eyeshadow brush. This is the brush. And I'm just going to dip into the uh, bronzer again. But this is specifically for my nose, which is why I'm using a smaller brush. Just slightly uh, putting more definition to the nose contour. Okay, so all done with that. I am then going to move on to highlighting. So I'm going to use two different highlighters today. The one is the MAC Cosmetics um, Gold Deposit Highlighter. This is what it looks like. And then I'm going to be using the um, Stila highlighter as well. This is the shade Kitten. This is a more champagne shade, whereas this is obviously like super gold. So that's why I like mixing the two because I feel like one without the other is not as effective. Obviously, I feel like you guys already know where to place highlighter. Um, just on top of your cheekbone, but super light amount. You don't want it to be too overwhelming. And then a little bit on the forehead is what I like because I feel like light naturally hits you here. So I just like intensifying that. A little bit on the chin, one side of the chin, not the whole chin. <laughs> and then I like using a smaller brush to place highlighter on the nose. And you don't want to put too much. Then I go in with this Stila um, Kitten Highlighter. And I place just a small amount on top of basically everywhere I place gold deposits. And I put a little bit more of this on the nose. You can also always put highlighter on your cupid's bow, but obviously not too much. And then the last bit of my face, my skin makeup is um, blush. Now I have been loving the switch beauty blushes i've had this for so long and as you can tell like i've been using them quite a bit but i like using the um mac 137 s brush and i dip into whatever shade i like from the pan so i'm gonna dip into flush and havana a little bit of sunset blur and i place a very small amount of blush a little goes a long way I place it exactly where I've placed my contour, especially because this is a Valentine's Day look, so blush is necessary. All right, so now that we are done with skin makeup, I'm going to spritz that with a hydrating spray. I'm going to use the Nivea Rose Care Hydrating Face Mist. And you just allow that to set a little bit before moving on to eyes. All right, so now we're going to start with the eyeshadow. So for today's look, I'm going to go with something that's going to suit my pink hair. That's an honorary of Valentine's Day or the month of love. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be dipping into two different eyeshadow palettes. 
The first one is my palette. This is the um, Scarlet Hill um, Times Lungile Tabete, uh, Tabete Energy Eyeshadow Palette, and it has really beautiful colors as you can tell. And then I'm also going to be dipping into a palette that I love. This is the Huda Beauty Naughty, um, Naughty Nude nude naughty whatever eyeshadow palette but it also has really beautiful um colors which i think would go well with today's look so i'm going to start off by creating a um bit of shadow on the outer corner of the eye and i'm going to dip into the tabete energy palette first i'm going to dip into 0702 And I'm just going to start placing that on the outer corner of the eye. I want to start with a very light blend. And we're going to be creating a really beautiful creased eye today. I think like it suits all the super beautiful edgy looks. If you want to go for something a little more dramatic. Um, but if you want to go for something lighter then you can just put one um, or two versions of the same color on the eye, blend that together and you're good to go. So I'm using a dome shape brush and I'm blending the outer corner of the eye. So I'm gonna place it, so I place it on the lid and then I blend the outer parts of the shade. Then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This is just so that I can pa pack in color um, specifically at the corner, outermost corner of the eye. So I'm going in with the shade Naughty from um, the Huda Beauty palette. So it just makes the eye look a bit more interesting. So always remember to continue blending. So I'm going to keep packing in this color until I feel like I have enough and when you're t uh, when you're taking the color with your brush from the pan you want to make sure that you tap your brush so that you don't have any like fallout onto your eyes or as little fallout as possible so when i'm blending out the ultimate part of the eyeshadow as you can tell i went in again with um 2702 from the tarete energy um, eyeshadow palette. This is just so it creates a really beautiful ombre and it looks super blended. So the trick with really beautiful eyeshadow is just to make sure that you blend as much as you can, especially the outermost parts of the eyeshadow because that's what is blending in with the rest of your um, skin makeup. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the shade 27 Gang from the eye Tabete eyeshadow palette and i'm just gonna blend that in further into the inner corner of the eye more so the center of my lid so this is a really beautiful burnt orange um, shade and it's just going to create a really beautiful transition in the color So I go back and forth with the other shades that we've used just to make sure that everything like stays super blended and it looks like a seamless transition of colors. If there's any fallout of the eyeshadow, just make sure that you clean it up as you go. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Naughty from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm just gonna place that on my waterline so that the entire, looks, the entire look looks um, completely seamless. Okay, so now it is time to cut the crease. Now for cutting the crease, I use just a flat brush. I use uh, the specific brush from, from MAC. Um, it is number 212, so that's the flat brush that I use. And it's really nice and thin, but I also like pressing it to make sure that the bristles are all together and it's really, really straight. And then I dip into um, a concealer. Today I'm gonna be using 
the Benefit Cakeless Concealer in the shade number 6 to cut the crease. It's a really beautiful uh, beige color. And I'm just going to get a bit of that on the brush. And then take a mirror and look down as you cut the crease just to make sure that like, it's a really beautiful straight line. Okay, cool. So the trick with making sure that you have really beautiful um, cut crease eyeshadow looks is to try and make it as symmetrical as possible with the other eye. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the same flat brush that I've been using. And I'm going to use this to place the eyeshadow on the line so that it's at its, it is as precise as possible. I am going to be going in with the shade Filthy, which is a beautiful lilac -y pink from um, the Huda Beauty palette. And you want to make sure that you place the product right on the line. So this camera, I'm just going to zoom in with it a little bit. And then I'm using the brush and this is going to help me just place it on the line properly. You always want to make sure that your brush is completely um, flat. Alright, then we take a fluffy brush or you can use your finger and I'm going to go in with the shade Shameless. It's really easy to use um, your finger when you're placing glitters. And I'm just gonna slide that onto the eye. So then we're gonna use our fluffy brush, use the same shade. And pack that on the rest of the eyeshadow. So remember, you want to make sure that you clean up your under eye if there's any fallout as you go. So then we are going to use the shade 0702 from the Tabete Energy um, palette. And we're going to blend the eyeshadow together wherever there is like any separation in the colors. And then intensify, I will outer corner of the eye again with the shade Naughty from the Huda Beauty palette. And then this look, we're gonna throw it over that side and be done. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is pretty much almost the end of the look. I'm just gonna finish it out with um, gloss on my lip, a really beautiful a glossy pink nudie color and then add on lashes do my brows which i'm all gonna do off camera and then we'll be right back All right guys, so that is the final look. <laughs> I really love it. I feel like it's really cute, it's flirty. Obviously, this look is inspired by my pink hair that is in honor of um, the month of love, February, which is also my birthday month. Um, but yeah, I really love it. If you wanna dial down this look a little bit, you don't have to do a creased eye. You can just do just one shadow on your eyes if that's what you're more comfortable with. But definitely lashes. I just feel like it adds that extra element of flirtiness to your makeup look. Um, I also kept it quite nude with my lips. I used the Juvia's Palette's um, Bronzed Sugar Lip Gloss. In, it is a beautiful nude pinky look which works with everything else and yeah i really love it i feel like i am ready for date night <laughs> 
All right, so that is it for today's makeup look. I absolutely love it. I love how it's super dewy, although I still have like really good coverage. Um, so I hope you guys try out just doing your skin makeup without using the foundation trick. Um, I've been using it for so long and it's just like the best thing after sliced bread. But yeah, I also really love the eyeshadow. I think it's super floaty and it obviously works well with my hair. If you want to go with something a little more muted, you can obviously always use like bronze and browns and golds on your eyeshadow instead of the um, pinks and uh, purples that I've used. But yeah, let me know what you think of today's makeup look and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. My hair was colored by Deborah King and she did a stunning job. What do you guys think? Do you think pink is like my color or should I go back to like brown and bronze and high buns? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video.